Admit it. You just can't get enough. <laughs> this is On Top and Hot. I'm John Zadar, and it is Tuesday. It's February 27th. Now, what I like to do on this show is just share my own personal due diligence with you on a hot penny stock. I trade penny stocks all day, every day. These are stocks under five bucks that you can find on any market. And I'm particularly looking for penny stocks that have potential to make us money. And normally, I find that potential when I'm looking at the charts. I can see a lot of charts in a little amount of time. And seriously, at a glance, I can see heat in a chart. Not because I have any special abilities, but because heat's easy to see. You can see a blue tsunami on the bottom of the chart. That's volume coming in. You can see the price turning its direction, cutting through a strong SMA. That's a breakout. And you definitely know what going to the moon looks like. Well, when you find a chart that has heat, that's the one you should invest time to go through the paperwork. Look through the filings and the press releases looking for a hot piece of information. If you can get a hot piece of information to match your hot chart, chances are you've got yourself a hot penny stock. And these are the sort of stocks I like to share with you. And I got one for you right now. This is SC Works Corporation, ticker WORX. I did find it by looking at the charts. The chart is right at the point of setting up for a breakout. It is an atypical breakout where the price is underneath the 200 and they're closing in on each other and we're waiting for that X, that magic crossover so that she could start running. And it's good timing. They just came out with news about a merger deal that they're involved in. So Works finished the day at $1.41 and she was up almost 1% today. We got ourselves another penny stock on the major exchange. She's on the NASDAQ, so you're not going to have any transaction fees, buying or selling your shares, and you're going to be able to trade this pre-market, after-market. You can't do that with OTC. So what is Works about? Well, they tell us here that SC Works Corporation develops and markets healthcare information technology solutions and related services to improve healthcare processes and information flow within hospitals and other healthcare facilities in the United States. The company provides data content and services related to repair, normalization, interoperability of information for healthcare providers, as well as big data analytics for healthcare industry. It sells its solutions and services to hospitals and health systems through its direct sales force and distribution and reseller partnerships. So what was the relative volume around works today? A rounder of big news. All right, that's not a lot of shares, but it's a huge increase. We got over a thousand percent increase on our volume, jumping from just over 13,000 shares to almost 170,000 shares today. Share structure for works, it's good. We got ourselves a really low float. Outstanding share count is at 1.2 million. Now your float can't be any higher than that. They tell us the float is 1.1 million, which means the insiders own about 83,000 shares. Everything looks great here. See, on the NASDAQ, they have a minimum criteria for how big, how small the float can be. It cannot go under a million. If it does, they would get warned by the NASDAQ to fix it. And if they didn't, they'd literally be pulled off the major exchange and thrown down to the OTC. But it's an easy fix. You just do a public offering and put more shares on the market. But we don't have that worry. We are at 1.1 million shares in the float. It's legitimate. It's a super duper low float. Market cap for the company, we're at 1.7 million. Looking at the financials for works. Well, they are making money and they are making profit. They've been between 4 million and 5 million. Right now, they're on the low end of 4 million. And they brought home profit of 1.4 million. The quarterly reports, not bad. It's pretty steady revenues, right? They're doing about a million dollars every three months. Sometimes their profits are high, sometimes they're low. Down to $239,000 this last quarter. Checking out the balance sheet for the company. Not a lot of money in the bank, only $72,000. Total assets for the company, $8.8 million. Hey, 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 liabilities is less, $2.6 million. So we got positive stockholder equity in this company. We are not holding a bag, $6.1 million. Taking a look at the disclosures for the company. 
Yes, we've got an 8K and the 8K is where all the juice is at. Now this 8K has been released as a press release. There's a little more information than that, but I kind of appreciated the brevity of the filing here. What we've got is a merger agreement that was initiated October of last year that they're just now coming down to closing. Works is merging with American Energy Partners, which is a subsidiary of American Environmental. That company provides mission critical environmental solutions to the energy and infrastructure sectors, primarily in Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, and New York. Our services include remediation and processing solutions for infrastructure and industrial companies. Now, when I think of infrastructure, I think of dams, bridges, tunnels, public water, sewage, things like that. And I'm thinking that's what they're talking about as well. So the two companies are merging together and it is going to be a reverse merger, a change of control, if you will. American Environmental is getting 83% of the combined company. Works is going to end up with 17%. They are going to change their name to American Environmental. This is supposed to close first quarter of this year. We're already two months into the three month quarter. So basically we're looking at the next 30 days this should be closing. Now, what I don't have here is a lot of information on what their plans are with this merger. I don't know what they are going to do together or if there is going to be a change of operations along with the change of control. I just know we've got a catalyst and we got a chart that is setting up right now. Yeah, I think we can chart this company on Thinkorswim. It works. Ah, see what I did there? This is SC Works Corporation, ticker WORX. And we are looking at a six month, four hour view. We had a huge jump six months ago, going from $3.30 up to the high bubble of $14.40, over 300% run, and I haven't got a clue what instigated it. She came down, bounced off of that 200, and then fell underneath it, and she's been in a downtrend ever since then, hitting a low of $1.09 here at the beginning of February. Off of that low bubble, She's actually changing her trend. She's getting in position for a breakout. She was underneath all of the SMAs here. Crossed them all, is now sitting on top of her nine day SMA, poking the 200, saying, you're next. I'm coming to you, you're next. Look at all the volume that came in today. A lot more than we've had the days before. Our oscillators aren't looking bad. Our PPO, percentage price oscillator, is climbing, slow but steady. Our MACD, it is underneath the other line, but it is working on a crossover right now. And our RSI is starting to climb, though she's a little cool. She is just under 53. Taking a look at our 20-day, one-hour view. So here's the end of our downtrend, hitting that low bubble, bouncing up and going sideways, crossing all of the SMAs, Bars are getting bigger as she's getting closer to that 200. Big dip, big rip. Got up on top of the 200. Had another big dip, came back up, and now she's bouncing off of the 200 haul. Now to me, folks, this is real important. I have been watching penny stocks really respect the 200 haul. The 200 haul is a lot like your 200-day SMA. It takes 200 days of prices and averages them all together. But the 200 haul puts more credence on current prices. So you end up with two different long-term lines on your chart. And penny stocks respect both. And over and over again, I see the price bounce off the 200 haul and launch to the 200-day SMA, going through all the other SMAs. And that's what happened here. She was underneath every single SMA bounced off the 200 haul, went through the nine, the 50, the 20, the 200. She's up there. She came back down underneath everything and now she's pushed herself up on top of the 200 and underneath the 50. This is a strong position to be sitting in. It isn't looking bad. All of our SMAs are crossing the 200 right now. The 200 is a, li a little steep right now. It needs to level off. So I'm hoping that these pushes here today are gonna help it level off tomorrow. Let's take a look at our five day, five minute chart. Well, basically she's going sideways. I'm gonna put this on the 15 minute. There, we've got our 200 here. As you can see, she really is just going sideways 
bouncing off of this 200, a little over it, a little under it, but she's going sideways right now, biding time. Our oscillators, they're mixed up. Our PPO is falling, our RSI is climbing, our MACD is recovering. But we see the chart has bounced off of the 200 and is right now trying to climb. We do have a catalyst. We've got a merger in the next 30 days. So all I can say is put this on your watch list and watch it for the next 30 days. When the news press comes out, there could be a bounce. There could be anticipatory bounce before that. You never know. So WORX belongs on your watch list and it deserves some more due diligence. Please do that, folks. You know I don't cover everything. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.